Good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for stepping into the Five Playland. As always, I'm your Five Player. Wanted to make this video regarding the New York Mets securing their first win of the season against the Atlanta Braves in City Field. This is the first game back for the Mets, as many of you know, um, after the stoppage of play and uh, the uh, sub and the subsequent. Uh, resumption of play due to COVID-19. Um, not very eventful with the exception of um, the two starting pitchers, uh, the Grom, namely uh, getting to the fifth inning and uh, the brave starting pitcher whose name just lit me, Kokolo. Um, he uh, also pitched the gem. I think he made it um, into the Sixth uh, past the sixth inning, um, the the Grom looked really sharp. He was using um, his slider really well. A little bit less breaking his slider than I expected. Um, locating the fastball to the outside and high really well when he wanted to upon command. Um, so that was good to see. Uh, Seth Lugo also uh, contributed with a uh, scoreless inning. Um, he looked really sharp. He threw uh, one curveball that I remember and it was looking on point. Um, also, our uh, lefty reliever Wilson came in. He uh, allowed a couple men on base. One guy got to uh, third base due to a pass ball by, Wilson, by Ramos, the uh, catcher. But wasn't a big deal because he got him out right after that. Um, another big story to come out of this as far as pitching goes, or even before I get to that, um, the Mets' um, sole run of the game was uh, uh, bombed by uh, Cespedes to left field. I think the home run went 403 feet, and it's good to see. The first two at bats, I mean, it didn't look like he didn't have any idea of the like. It just looked like he was a little bit tentative or like uh, waiting more, and that's not really his uh, style. He's usually going after uh, the pitcher and going after first pitches, but he was being tentative. On his second at bat, he actually made contact with a check swing, and uh, he made an easy out um, due to that bad at bat but his following at bat is when he hit that rope to left field which is good to see if Cespedes gets going I mean it's a good sign for the Mets I was a little bit surprised also in speaking about the offense with uh, Nimmo at the not surprised I mean but I personally would rather not have Nimmo in the leadoff spot I think McNeil would be a little bit better but Nimmo actually had really good at bats and he went two for four in this game so that's a good sign to see Freddie Freeman also made a really good play off the bat of McNeil and he doubled he made a making a double play on um, not really a base running mistake by Nimmo but he just caught Nimmo in a wrong spot after McNeil hit a line drive to Freeman he was able to just reach down and tag the bag for a double play. But it's good to see Nemo going 2-4. for four. Cespedes um, seems to be on the money. McNeil also got a hit. The biggest thing for me was Edwin Diaz closing the game. Um, not only was he touching uh, 99 on the speed gun, but he got through the inning extremely fast. 3 up, 3 down. And I think he got two strikeouts. Now, I know he got the last batter. Um, he struck him out. So that's good to see. I mean, he looked 100% more comfortable during his uh, closing opportunity. And after his, he ended up closing the game, then he did uh, all of 2019. So that's good to see. He's going to be a really pivotal piece moving forward for the Mets so 
I'm not sure what happened, but they put Andres Jimenez into the game for the ninth inning. I don't know if that was a defensive replacement um, or what was happening there, but they put him in second base for the last thing. Um, I got to see what was up with that, though. I'm trying to make this video on the fly and right after the game came to a conclusion. But good to see. Hopefully the Mets make it to the playoffs this year. And this, and hopefully we get to finish this baseball season or shorten baseball season. But let me know what you guys think. With that, I'm out. Thank you for stepping into the five playland. Peace.